All right? Number two. Same, same club. How many committees of five can they form? With three men and two women. How many committees of five can they form? Three men, two women. So the question again we always ask, combination or blank? Which one is it? Is this one blanks? Still committees, isn't it? It's still a combination. Yeah. On committees, the order doesn't matter. So we're still... Co uh, on committees, the order never matters. So ABC is the same committee as CBA. Committees are always combination. So it's still a combination, yes. However, how am I going to get the three men and the two women specified? Well, let's write that here. Three men and two women. We're going to split it up, yes. We're going to do two combinations here. I'm going to do a combination for the men, and then I'm going to do a combination for the women. Because that's how I'm going to specify it, specify it out. So I'm going to do two combinations. All right, let's do the men ones first. Combination for three men. How many? So the first number on the C is how many there are to choose from. How many do I have to choose from here? I'm only, well, I'm choosing from the men. Thirteen? Well, yeah, I'm choosing three men, but I have 13 total to choose from, right? Yes. And I'm going to choose how many of them at a time? Three. The three goes here. Okay? How many we have to choose from? How many we're choosing at a time? You've got to get that order in your head there. All right, what about the women? I want to choose two women, but in my combination, what's the first number? How many I have to choose from? How many women do I have to choose from? 17. I've got 17. 17 women, I want to choose two women. So 17, two. So let's do combination 13, three. It's 286. Combination 17, two. 136. I'll get those numbers. That gives us two numbers. What do we do with it? Well, <clears throat> See that little word and? We talked about and in different places, but in counting, and typically means multiply. And means multiply. See the word and? Think multiply. So I multiply my 286 by 136. 38,896. Okay? Question or concern? Yeah, there's there's two groups specified. You'll need a combination for each one, or a part for each one. Yes. But if that was the, if number two was the original question, we wouldn't be doing that. Yeah, if, if this question had just said how many committees of five, we just have one combination. But because it specified how many men and how many women, we had to do two combinations. All right. Let's do a couple more. <clears throat> Number three on this, same club. How many ways could they elect a president if 
Vice President. And Secretary. How many ways could they elect? President, Vice President, Secretary. Is this a combination or is this blanks? Again, I told you, you need to ask that always. Because sometimes it won't be a combination. Sometimes it will be blanks. And it all boils down to, does order matter? ABC, is that the same as CBA? Well, in this case, President, Vice President, Secretary. President, are these the same? Not the same. Order matters. Order matters here. So it's not a combination, is it? Combination, the order doesn't matter. What does that mean? Blanks. President, Vice President, Secretary. So you got to think about it. It's not a combination, then you use the blanks. Not the blanks, use a comma. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So if I use the blanks, how many ways could I choose the president? We got 13 men, 17 women. Any of those could be president, right? There's no specification which is president, which is vice. 30 ways. 30 ways. What about this vice president? Well, I can't use the very well the same president, so 29. And then I have to go 28. Multiply those together. See? Twenty-four thousand three hundred sixty. Now, you know something else. We could have used what else here? Permutation, right? Because this is a partial countdown product. I could have used, I didn't, but I could have used permutation. You don't have to use permutations, but sometimes you can use permutations. But this, this I could have done permutation 30, comma 3. Could have done that. That would give us that same number. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Everybody okay with that? All right. How many, we'll do some hands of cards. How many five card hands are possible using a standard deck? <clears throat> By standard deck, no jokers, just just the cards. All right. And you may not be that familiar with cards, but let's just go through a standard deck. In a standard deck, you've got four suits. Hearts, diamonds, spades, and clubs. Uh, hearts and diamonds are red. Spades and clubs, black. Each suit has 13 cards. So there's 13 hearts, 13 diamonds, 13 spades, 13 clubs. <clears throat> there's an ace, and then there's a 2 through 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then there's a jack, queen, and king of each suit. So there's a jack of hearts, jack of diamonds, jack of spades, jack of clubs. Each one of these cards is in each of those suits. Um, <clears throat> so that makes how many cards? 13 cards in each, four suits. 13 times 4, 52 cards in a deck. With me? All right, now, <clears throat> one other little note. The jack... King and Queen, those are considered face cards. And there's a picture in the book. It's the Jack, Queen, and King have faces on them, usually. So that's hence their name, face cards, but we'll specify 
those sometimes. Okay, so that's 13 cards. So back to our question. How many five-card hands are possible? Well, again, our first question is always, is it a combination or is it blanks? And it's a combination if the order doesn't matter. Well, if I have <coughs> um, ace, two, three, four, five, and then I have the five, four, three, two, ace, and it's say it's hearts, is that a different hand? Same hand. Doesn't matter the order. Order doesn't matter on hands of cards. So what does that tell me? It's a combination. Order doesn't matter on hands of cards, so it's a combination. It is a combination just as committees are. Hands of cards will always be combinations. All right, so it's a combination. Now, what's my numbers? What's the first number? How many cards are there to choose from? 52. How many do I want at a time? Combination, 52, 5. That's going to be 2,598,960. Did you get that? Okay. Let's do another five card. How many five card hands... have only face cards. I said we'll sometimes specify red cards, black cards, face cards, um, even cards, whatever. All right. <clears throat> but in this case, how many five card hands only have face cards? <coughs> Again, we're talking about hands of cards, so we're using combination or blanks. Combinations, yeah. Hands are always combinations. The order doesn't matter. I only want face cards, though. So doesn't that change this number? I can't put the 52 very well there because not all 52 cards are face cards. How many face cards are there? Well, there's a jack, queen, and king in each suit. Jack, queen, and king here, 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 and here. How many does that give you? 12 face cards, right? All together. The jack... You've got a jack, queen, and king of hearts, a jack, queen, and king of diamonds, a jack, king, and queen of spades, and a jack, king, and queen of clubs. That's 12. All right, so what's my combinations then? How many are there to choose from? 12. I want only face cards, so I'm only going to pick 12 from 12. How many do I want? Five. 12, choose five. Or combination 12, five. That's 792. Okay? 